Cats is directed by Tom Hooper and is the live action adaptation of the stage musical by Andrew Lloyd Webber and the plot, if I dare to call it that, is about a gang of cats in London and at the end of the night there will be a ball in which the lead cat will pick one of the other cats to be reborn or go to heaven or be sacrificed ritually. I'm not really clear about that still. I actually saw cats on stage a long time ago. I thought it was very boring and I fell asleep but I thought maybe I'm just too young. Maybe I didn't appreciate what was good about it. What made it the fourth longest running Broadway show and the fourth longest running West End musical in history. Seriously, this show? Like I said, it was a long time ago and I didn't remember anything about it other than the memory song and that's just because I've heard that in other things. There was a lot of whining about the trailer when it was released. A lot of people saying that the cats were terrifying and nightmare fuel and all other sorts of hyperbole. I didn't feel that way. They're cat people. It's a live action version of cats. What do people think it was going to be? It looks weird because there's people acting like cats. But I didn't see anything wrong with the CGI. If you want people who look like cats, how else is that going to look? It's also directed by Tom Hooper, who's made some interesting stuff. Can't say I love his filmmaking style, but I really like The King's Speech and Les Miserables was okay. But Cats? Cats was bad. It was weird and boring somehow at the same time. The movie consists of going through all these different cats and they all sing about themselves, mostly just repeating their names over and over again which makes it incredibly unmemorable. And all their names are ridiculous and annoying. Jenny Anydots and Mr. Mephistopheles, who isn't a villain somehow with a name like that. Rumple Teaser and Mungo Jerry. The Rum Tum Tugger character and song were easily the most annoying part of the movie and I hated Jason Derulo's stupid face. Aside from one new song that I don't remember either, all the music is the same as the stage musical, which leads me to believe that Cats has been getting by all these years on the strength of memories, aka the one good song in the whole thing. And even that song seems out of place here. I could see that song fitting in perfectly with more serious emotional musical like Les Mis, and this film does take itself far too seriously, which just feels so off because they're all cats, and they're singing about their personalities, and there's no real plot. So when Memories comes along, the film has no right to have emotion. It hasn't earned it. The tone is all over the place. It seems to be trying for whimsical and light, which doesn't work because all the cats are reacting to each other like they want to fuck each other. Then it's trying to be funny, which allows James Corden and Rebel Wilson to be standout bad. And this movie has cat puns, like Batman and Robin had ice puns. Then it wants to be serious with the old Judy Dench cat picking another cat to go to heaven or something and the Memories song being sad, even though we don't know anything about the character singing it. There's just no depth to any of this. They're just cats. They're not metaphors for anything or trying to get some message across. They are just cats. And the songs are about, ooh, this cat is fickle, and ooh, this cat is lazy, and this cat is fat, and this cat likes to eat. That's it. At first I thought maybe this could work as an animated thing for young kids, but it felt more like a children's book where like each page is a different cat and they have a silly name and a funny picture and a short description and would only work as an actual story if a shit ton of new plot was added to it. It is based on a book of whimsical light poems by T.S. Eliot and even that seems too grand for what's going on here. The lead character, Victoria the White Cat, has the most normal name and she might be the weakest protagonist in film history, which leads to maybe the weakest side plot love story in film history. Idris Elba plays the villain, and I know the two times isn't really a pattern, but is it weird that he's played a villainous cat twice in three years? He works okay until he takes his clothes off, and then it just looks like a naked guy dancing in the middle of this film, and that's a wee bit disturbing. I didn't mind the CGI. I thought it was good. I thought that the way the characters moved and ran was much more disturbing and unnatural, which is why... I don't get all this talk about the awfulness of the CGI. They're cat people. It's not like they made half humans, half cockroaches. Oh wait, they did do that and they danced during one of the numbers and Rebel Wilson eats one while it cries. That was unpleasant to watch. I kind of liked Ian McKellen. I thought he gave the best performance. I liked the tap dancing railway cat and his dance sequence. But there's a reason that movie musicals don't focus on dancing anymore. It's impressive in real life, but not so much on screen. Maybe if they didn't edit around it so much and let the dance sequences play out in long shots, that would be more impressive. I'm not as baffled and as weirded out by this movie as everyone else seems to be. It's not an abomination of cinema or of nature. I was just so bored waiting for it to end that I don't give a shit about cats and there's not a story to grab onto. 
everything feels artificial and it all feels like a set because of the design and the lighting and the framing and the lack of any human people present on these deserted London streets. It felt like a pantomime sometimes and if I never hear the term Jellicle again for the rest of my life it will be far too soon. The Jellicle gang of the Jellicle cats will go to the Jellicle ball so old Deuteronomy can make the Jellicle choice. Seriously, they use the word Jellicle so often. It's starting to sound like that episode of South Park where the kids come across the aliens that use the same word for all their nouns. Marklar? These Marklars want to change your Marklar. They don't want this Marklar or any of his Marklars to live here because it's bad for their Marklar. They use Marklar to try and force Marklar... So Cats is getting a D. Cats is a perfect example of something that should not be translated into film, and in my opinion, doesn't even work as a stage show. It might have worked if they completely changed everything about it and gave it a story with characters and themes, but it's not really saying much when you say the movie would be better if you changed absolutely everything about it. So don't watch it, and I think that even young kids would be bored by this, so don't take them to it either. Thank you very much for watching my review. Please like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. It helps me out. It helps the channel grow. Comment down below and let me know if you like cats. Somehow, if you agree or disagree with any of my points or have any points of your own, I'll be back soon with more reviews and I will see you then.